I say families because that's really why we're here today. I know that's why I'm here because before I came to today's uh, uh, signing, uh, I, I said goodbye to, to my family, to my son who's, who's, who's two and a half. And I, I got to leave with the peace of mind knowing that he is safe at home with his mother. And I'm not gonna have that next year because we're looking into preschools and he's gonna be going to school. And, and my heart breaks knowing that uh, unlike when, when I and many of us went to school, he's gonna live in the ever-present fear of a school shooting. The scourge of school shootings and mass shootings in general is something that we are confronted with all too regularly in this country. And, and my son is going to be forced to grow up with active shooter drills and, and the fear and the dread that one day it could be his school. Um, it is our moral obligation as legislators to stand up against gun violence. And that is why my district mate, Assemblywoman Lisa Swain, uh, and I introduced uh, a piece of legislation, A4449. Um, on average, we all know 100 Americans are killed with guns and hundreds more are injured every day, and we all live in fear of that next shooting. Um, my legislation that is being signed today establishes a crime of soliciting transfer of firearms by a disqualified person. This bill prohibits a person who is disqualified from possessing a firearm from knowingly soliciting, persuading, encouraging, or enticing a licensed gun dealer or other person to sell, give, transfer, or assign a firearm to a disqualified person. Basically, as our Attorney General so eloquently said, this represents another tool in our toolbox. As we all work together to make sure that guns do not fall into the wrong hands of those that should not have them. We must all stand strong uh, for gun legislation and gun control regulations because laws like this will save lives.